Hi everybody, it's me. It's Dr. Kessler from Lorain County Community College and welcome to today's co-video. Um, I just wanted to, uh, I'm going to do things a little differently today. I'm going to address one issue basically, just one issue here. And that is, uh, well first of all, my temperature. I'm going to tell you my temperature right now. It's 96.7. I'm watching that to see if I get sick. If I get sick, if I get a fever, I'm going to get that checked out. I'm going to get a test done um, and then I, I can go from there that's good information um, we need good information um, to be able to proceed that's that's something that we want and uh, this is going to be all about information that's what today's is uh, sessions all about first of all I want to uh, point out that uh, um, there um, I was not on yesterday and the reason I was not on yesterday was because I was busy very very busy dealing with uh, um, in misinformation basically um, deceitful information there was information like this that got produced after 911 and there's information all the time um, that is put out there to uh, basically divide people. I just want to say that. There was a video put out. Um, uh, um, it was filled with errors and problems and I am not going to directly address that video but I prefer to do something different and that is what I plan to do today is deputize you. I'm going to turn you all into good consumers of scientific information and this is the kinds of standards that you should use going forward because I expect many more of these deceptive videos going out I'm, I am absolutely positive so if you want to catch up on them figure them out um, here's how you do it first of all um, you can look at uh, um, you can you can search it a little bit go to some place that has references for what they do snopes.com had a lot of information about the video that went out um, and a lot of that story um, it concerns somebody who used to be in my background in my field HIV research um, I also found that even Wikipedia had referenced information. Now, references are a very important thing in science. I'm going to get to that um, in a bit. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how science works. So when you see a publication like this one, I, I put this up a couple of days ago, and uh, it's talking about it's in Science Magazine, and there's a lot that goes into that. There's a lot of work that goes into a scientific publication that is not just one person. This is not just the person who's putting the uh, publication out there. Um, it actually is a lot. And I'm going to, just to kind of break it down as to how that works, I'm going to show you one of my publications. Um, and this is from the 90s. Um, this was in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, um, and uh, um, this is a paper about a vaccine. And it's not the, the about a vaccine for COVID-19. Um, it's a vaccine about a different disease, um, and uh, this is what I call my suicide vaccine. That was kind of the uh, the 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 easy quick remember name and uh, um, it is uh, um, and let me tell you about this it had authors on there my my co-authors are listed on there and uh, um, a couple of other things is is that this was communicated National Academy publications get computed commuted communicated sorry from a member of the National Academy this one was communicated by a guy by the name of Fred Robbins Fred Robbins won the Nobel Prize for figuring out how to grow polio and growing polio meant that they could develop a vaccine and uh, of course the vaccine um, uh, resulted in the eradication of polio polio is another disease where people couldn't go out a lot a lot of public things got canceled and all kinds of uh, of, of issues like that and so um, that was a different vaccine and of course HIV disease is the one that I was working on um, so maybe Fred Robbins contributed that this is one of the last things he did before he passed um, was contribute my paper but in addition to um, um, that it was reviewed this was reviewed by um, um, by a committee of, uh, uh, of authors um, or peers who said yes 
and I didn't know who they were, by the way. This is anonymous. Anonymous peers who said, yeah, thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, and they could have said thumbs down. And if they said thumbs down, that this paper was not good, they, they would write a letter to the editor, and then the editor would fax me that or mail me or whatever, saying your paper's been rejected. And I've had papers rejected before. Um, and if you have a paper rejected, you go, oh, let me try to fix it, and let, let me try to you know make it better. And this results in a better product. So this happens. In fact, my paper was submitted in January. January 29th, I submitted the paper, and then it 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 uh, didn't get approved until May. So there was it was looked over by scientists, and they commented on it. They said it's going to be a good thing. It's going to be um, something that is worthwhile. I don't know who reviewed this paper and uh, I got comments back that you know this point here was not so good. This data here you need to do one more experiment. Sometimes they ask you to do another experiment all kinds of stuff and it makes for a better product. Um, the next thing on the list is I always tell people my students use read the abstract. You definitely want to read the abstract. That tells you in a nutshell what's going on in this paper all the relevant details and, and, and conclusions. Um, it is not uh, um, a teaser. It, it is the whole story condensed into a paragraph. Um, and that is, so if you need to get some quick information, that's where you go. Um, following the abstract is the introduction. I always tell novice students, new students, to read introductions because it's got a lot of nice background material. So if you're new to the field, it's a great way of introducing yourself. And you can see I'm even talking about Edward Jenner, um, whose birthday is this month. Um, Edward Jenner, who uh, um, in the 1700s came up with a vaccine for all things. I'm really getting up to date references here. And you'll notice numbers all over here in the introduction. I'm going to get to those numbers in a second. Those numbers refer to the uh, information that I reference, that I am using to make my argument. That is very important. We'll get to that later. The next thing we have here is uh, um, methods and results. The methods is a cookbook. I tell students don't read the methods unless you're going to redo the experiment because that is exact recipe about how to redo the experiment. And by the way, that is one of the things that we do in science. If you don't think this paper is good, um, you don't believe my conclusions, you go ahead, I will show you exactly how to do it and see if you get the same thing. That is also part of the assurance that we get in science. Um, and then there is uh, um, the results, and the results are all the kinds of uh, experiments that I make. Um, the, those results are, are uh, important things. And then there's the discussion, you know, all of the, um, where I comment about my results. And it's really me that's commenting there. So I tell students, you know, I don't usually read the discussion of other people's papers. And the reason that I don't is because I prefer to make my own discussion. I prefer to have my own discussion. That I can read later. And because sometimes this is where you're a little bit more poetic in science is in the discussion. And dis discussions can kind of like you can backtrack from them. But results are solid. Results have to be the way they are. Um, you know, results you can always, uh, in discussions, you can always say, well, upon further inspection, we can now come with a different conclusion. And that's, that's all good. The, the whole idea here is to arrive at the truth. Next comes the, the acknowledgments. And you can see a couple of things in here. There's um, first acknowledging people who, who gave reagents to this. And I'm also re re acknowledging granting societies. And I want to tell you something about that. This is something that was in that video that was a little bit off and wrong. And that is is no one person. So I, I list here uh, the uh, the American uh, 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 the AMFAR organization, um, and that is uh, um, the American Foundation for AIDS Research, and and the ACS, the American Cancer Society. I, they um, they didn't just give me the money from one person's decision. I wrote a grant. That grant got reviewed again by a panel of scientists, of peers, and they said thumbs up or they said thumbs down. They said, yeah, that's a good experiment. That's a good idea. We will fund that. Or they could have said no. Now, the worst thing that can happen to a paper 
is to have it be retracted. And when it's retracted, it means don't look at this anymore. This is something that we don't consider. And that is an, also a useful way of checking our own work. So if this paper ever becomes, somebody tries it and says, I don't see what Kessler is thinking about. Um, I don't believe that paper. Then they can retry re to do the experiment. They can show evidence. And then, uh, and then if I agree I'll retract it and if if I don't agree it may get retracted against my wishes and I'll be I can be angry about that or I can um, I can move on and try to do good work in the future do something different so that is how basically how the the, the whole system works and keeps itself um, clear. Last thing in the paper is the references, and these are the things that I refer to to make my case in the paper. Um, and also, the references serve a place in the future. Someday, I hope that my paper, this one in particular, gets lots of people saying, yes, that's, that's a paper that is that I am going to cite. And so there is a citation uh, um, impact, and that shows you how what other people think. If everybody's talking about your work, then you are uh, um, going to get a higher citation index, and you're going to be um, you're going to be rewarded for your good work. So this is all a very very good system to try to make sure that the whole thing um, works. So again, again, back into the granting agency business, there is no one person who makes a decision. It actually comes from an external, and I have been on review panels. And the review panel is, is, you know, you say, well, I think this guy's work is good or not, and then you can go, or, and I've been on journal reviews. So all of uh, science gets checked over by other scientists, and that's, that is a really great thing, that peer review thing. All right, I'm going to just kind of finish this out and talk a little bit about some helpers here. And uh, Mike DeWine has been excellent leader in uh, in the state of Ohio. For those of you who are outside of the state of Ohio, you should be jealous. He's been very good. And uh, here he is standing up for the people working under him who've been taking criticism, who've been attacked by people um, because they see somehow that's a weaker link. Um, um, that they can maybe maybe influence people by attacking them um, um, personally. And he says, nope, you want to attack somebody, you attack me. You want to protest, you protest against me. The buck stops here. He said the buck stops here. He actually used that line. And, uh, um, and so he is... Um, just been a great leader and uh, um, and 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 you know and he said today in his review in his uh, weekly uh, or daily report he said that um, that uh, um, it really is about us we are the ones who are going forward to do the right thing and the right thing is to as to when you when when someone asks you to put a mask on um, they're asking they're trying to be helpful here they're trying to be helpful to not just you and other people, um, and it is it is really a helpful thing. I just want to remind you. So if 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 somebody asks you to put on a mask, mask that's going to help you. It's going to help others. Um, it is a really good thing to do, and it does work. There is that that. Uh, that documentary, that fake documentary I was telling you about earlier, they were saying something about how masks trap things inside of you and nothing could be further from the truth. Um, um, otherwise, physicians and surgeons would be sick all the time because they're, um, that is not the case. Um, the, you're only wearing it when you're out in public and, uh, and it is a good thing um, to be able to do. All right, um, one more story. Um, and this is uh, um, this is uh, um, that's a great story. I got to tell you this, and I hopefully I can get through it. Um, I was not able to get through it in an earlier take of this recording, um, and uh, uh, let me just try to get through it right now. Uh, remember the farmer, the farmer who um, sent uh, the uh, his M N95 mask to the, to uh, Governor Cuomo in New York. Um, he was from Kansas, and he sent this mask because he thought it would help, and he never thought he'd get acknowledged for it, but he did. And it was just a beautiful thing, and Cuomo read, read his letter to him, handwritten letter, 
and uh, um, and he really needed to hang on to those masks because he's got a wife who's got some issues, and 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 it, it, we've come to find out that he never graduated from college. He actually had to leave college, Kansas State University. Kansas State University had to leave two two classes short um, of his bachelor's degree, and the reason he had to leave is because his dad died, and he had to take over the farm. I mean, that's just that's simply put. That's what he had to do. He did what he had to do. And, uh, um, and it was a beautiful thing. Well, Kansas State University has, uh, has fixed that. And uh, he is getting his degree this year. And, um, and I just think that's a great little story. Um, and I'll just, um, uh, I'll, I'll cut off there. I'll leave you with a bit of, uh, uh, of a good story after a, a beautiful day um, here in Ohio. Um, and, uh, um, I'll remind you all to be good to each other, continue to be good to each other, like Kansas State University. Um, and, uh, um, and, uh, may you all persist like a lengthy virus. Thank you.